A federal territory of Kuala Lumpur Social Welfare Department assistant officer told the Sessions Court in Kuala Lumpur on Thursday that Bella was thin and in a state of fear when he met the girl for the first time last year. Muhammad Imran Muhammad Zanuin said when he visited the teenager with Down syndrome on July 4, 2021 at Kuala Lumpur Hospital, she was seen to be sad as she walked with her head bowed, not looking at anyone and her hands were bandaged. The witness said that during examination at the trial of Ruma Bonda founder Siti Bainun at Razali. The 12th prosecution witness said that on June 24, 2021, Siti Bainun messaged him on WhatsApp to inform that Bella had fallen and was scalded. In the text message, Siti Bainun also stated that Bella was COVID-19 positive but she did not take her for a swab test because she was afraid that she would be questioned on Bella's physical condition. According to Muhammad Imran, Siti Bainon told him that hot water was accidentally spilled on Bella two days before Hari Raya. The witness also told the court that he urged Siti Bainon to take Bella to the hospital and the latter said she would do so after the girls' quarantine ended on June 29, 2021. Siti Bainon faces two charges of neglecting and abusing the 13-year-old girl causing the victim to suffer physical and emotional injuries. The trial continues.